Hey guys, it's Half I Am back again, and this is going to be a Valentine's Day video, uh, and it's going to be a nail polish video at the same time. Um, the gang that I uh, do most of my nail polish um, videos with, the collabs, um, we are doing a Valentine's video, um, which I was kind of partly involved in deciding what we were going to do. Um, if you remember last year, we did... Um, like there were like two polishes, um, sort of like a Valentine's polish and an anti-Valentine's polish and a dark uh, kind of evil polish and a not evil polish. There was a whole bunch of different pairings that we had, like opposites. Well, we've done something similar this time, but it's a little different. It's our favourite uh, pop culture couples and nail polishes to represent them. Um, and when I first came up with it, I really couldn't think myself of too many couples other than, um, like, really obvious ones like Rose and Ten, and, um, yeah, that was pretty much it in my brain at that point in time. And then I started writing them down, um, couples that I really enjoyed from different, uh, television series, and, um, yeah, ended up with quite a long list. So I actually have 18 pairings. I could have done less. I could have done more. Um, this is where I decided to uh, cut it off. That was when I got to the bottom of the page. I was like, okay, you can't write any more on this page, so you have to stop now. <laughs> now, some of these are not couples that actually um, ended up together. They're couples that I wish had ended up together. Um, some of them are couples who ended up together, some of them are couples who got together and then things went bad and they weren't together anymore. So, um, and these are mainly from shows that I enjoyed watching. Um, I don't, I, I don't watch a lot of television now, so you're not going to see any, um, current, um, couples. So there's not going to be any Game of Thrones couples or, um, Once Upon a Time couples or any of them because I don't watch those programs. So this is very much going to be um, older television programs, almost exclusively. <laughs> Just saying. So I've kind of broken them up a little bit. Um, I'm going to start off with ones that are um, individual to a particular television show, um, and then I have groups of couples from other television shows some of them there are a whole bunch of couples in the show that I just I, I couldn't just pick one I had to pick them all so okay so where I'm going to start is with the oldest couple in this um, particular thing and that is with Lucy and Desi Arnaz from I Love Lucy I know there were a couple in real life but there were also a couple on I Love Lucy and they were an iconic couple let's face it um, so for Lucy, I picked this bright orangey red. This is actually called Carrot Top, which is even better in my opinion. And for Desi, I picked Bittersweet, which is from Sally Hansen. This is an Ultra 3 polish. Um, this is from <laughs> Sally Hansen. This is like a chocolatey brown. And when I think Desi Arnaz, I think of a an exotic foreign chocolate basically um yeah so they might not necessarily go together uh however they make a great couple i think so this one here is carrot top focus camera that's carrot top and that is a bittersweet so those are my polishes for lucy and desi my next couple are um, Carrie and Big from Sex in the City. Um, I did like her with Aiden, but ultimately um, I prefer Chris North, so I wanted her to be with Big, and yeah, she ended up with Big. Um, for Carrie, I picked a Glitter Bomb nail polish, which is literally called Glitter Bomb. This is from Sally Hansen. Um, because, let's face it, she's... <laughs> She's the kind of woman who would wear sequins during the day. For Mr. Big, I picked Italian leather from Revlon because he's like rich 
leather, smooth and gorgeous and smells really good. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> these are the two polishes that I picked side by side and I will show you a swatches of them. So this one here is a Glitter Bomb and this one is Italian Leather which is kind of like a greeny grey with a shimmer in it. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, so that's those ones. The next favourite couple is Fran and Maxwell from Um, for Fran I picked All Bright which is a super bright pink which I think is her all over let's face it. For Maxwell I picked Velvet Touch from Rimmel. This is a velvet finish um, and you know he was just kind of smooth and you wanted to touch him. <laughs> so those are my picks for Fran and Maxwell. So that right there is all bright and that is a velvet touch. My next couple is Lorelei and Luke from Gilmore Girls. They danced around it for so long I was so glad they finally got them together. Um, I get really frustrated when they take a really long time. Uh, for Lorelei I picked this one which is called Caffeinated from L'Oreal because let's face it she's always caffeinated. Um, it seemed like a good choice. Um, I was just thinking coffee. This is not exactly coffee coloured. Well not the kind of coffee I drink. Um, but it just the name more than anything else fit. For Luke I picked Cine Snap from Sally Hansen. It's a really dark sort of like blood red. I always think of him as red plaid or red flannelette. That's, that's what I have in my head when I think of him. Um, yeah, so those are the two that I picked for Lorelei and Luke. So we have Caffeinated and Cine Snap. Those are those two. And this is the final couple of non-science fiction couples. All the rest are science fiction couples. So I'll, I'll warn you now because I'm a bit of a science fiction freak. <laughs> so my last couple is Wayland Smithers and Montgomery Burns, which I know they never get together, but I'm sure Wayland would love them too. Um, and it's kind of like one of those couples I really wish would get together because I think it would be awesome. Uh, so for Wayland Smithers, I picked this kind of pinky peach colour. This is Shine On from Essence because he's just... He's just so endearing, it's just, and this is a really endearing colour. For Montgomery Burns, I picked a, this sort of old gold colour. This is actually 24K Dipped, which is, again, for Monty, perfectly named for him. Um, yeah, so <laughs> these are my picks for Montgomery Burns and Wayland Smithers. So uh, this is... Um, uh, shine on and this is 24k dipped and they gorgeous okay my next couple is from Babylon 5 if you've ever watched Babylon 5 you will know this couple um, if you have never watched Babylon 5 you won't know what I'm talking about um, my couple is Delenn and Sheridan I was so glad when they got together like I loved them as a couple I thought their dynamic was amazing so for Delenn I picked Chalk Mint, which is this jadey green, which is what I think of when I think of her. It's kind of a calm, serene sort of colour. This does have little, um, I think it's holographic flecks in it, um, but it's just a really smooth kind of colour and calming kind of colour. For Sheridan I picked Hard Metal, which is like a steel grey kind still bluey grey. I kind of think of, and it's sort of almost the colour of his uniform on Babylon 5. 
which yeah, another reason to pick it. Um, yeah, he's he's kind of like hard but there's a certain softness to him as well. So those are my pick for Delenn and Sheridan. So that is Chalk Mint. That's Chalk Mint and that is Hard Metal. My next couples come from Torchwood, which is a spin-off of Doctor Who, if you don't know that, but that's where those couples come from. Um, so my first couple are Yanto and Jack Harkness, which is one of my favourite couples in any television show ever. I loved them together. Their, their chemistry and dynamic was just amazing. Um, and I was absolutely gutted with what happened to them. <laughs> The, the end result of their relationship. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for you if you've never watched um, the last series. Oh, actually, it's the second to last because I did come back and make another one. But it wasn't the same once Yanto wasn't in the show anymore. Spoilers. Um, so for Yanto, I picked this one from Maybelline Color Show. This is actually called Lust for Buff, which is quite appropriate because they, they lusted after each other a lot. Um, it's also a very, um, you know, a go-to neutral, solid, dependable, which is what Yanto really was. He was very dependable. Um, yeah, so that's the one for Yanto. And for Jack, I picked a rainbow glitter because I think it just fits him to a T. There's just so much going on with him and so many layers, so many reincarnations really. Um, <laughs> this is called Over the Rainbow from Ulta 3. So those are my picks for Yanto and Jack Harkness, or Captain Jack as he's sometimes known. My other um, Torchwood couple are a couple that loved each other and flirted around the idea of getting together and never actually got the chance to completely take that step um, and their their last communications really told you how they felt about each other um, and yeah they were just a really lovely but complex couple um, and that is Owen and Toshiko um, I really liked the idea of their couple, but it, it kind of, they were very different from each other, but they kind of like had a lot of chemistry. So for Toshiko, I have picked this kind of peachy, shimmery peachy colour. She was an absolute darling, very intelligent. I mean, she was kind of complex as well, there was a lot going on, but she was kind of like a shining light amongst a lot of darkness, quite frankly. For... Owen, I picked this one, which is called Black Platinum, which is a really dark, almost black colour, but it's got like a shimmer to it, it's got layers to it, he was kind of really dark, but there was a lot more going on, he got exceptionally dark there at one point, which if you haven't watched it, you won't know why, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, uh, so this is my pairing for Toshiko and Owen. This one here is, oh, I forgot to tell you what it's called, this peach one is Tutti Frutti from BYS. So that's Tutti Frutti and that is Black Platinum. My next couples are from Doctor Who. So my first couple is Amy and Rory. For Amy I picked this blue and purple glitter from Sinful Colours called Superstar. Blue because partly because of the TARDIS, but partly because she's pond. Um, but glitter because there's a lot more facets to her than just that. She was quite a complex character. For Rory, I picked this neutral called Great Expectations from L'Oreal because he was solid and dependable and a go to and something you can always rely on, which is what a neutral polish is, is something you can always rely on. So those are the ones that I picked for Amy and Rory. So this one here is Superstar. 
Superstar and Great Expectations. The next couple is Vashta and Jenny. Vashta is an alien and she's a lizard and Jenny is not. <laughs> she is a um, just an ordinary girl, really, but there's more to her than that. For Vashta, I picked this lizardy green colour. This is called Tenacious Teal because Vashta is helly, hellishly tenacious, quite frankly. Um, frowning at the dog. <laughs> so I picked this one for Vashta, which is also the colour that she is, is sort of that colour. For Jenny, I actually picked this metallic silver, which is called Silver Dollar from Revlon because she's like a knight in shining armor. Even though Vashta is the warrior, Jenny is like always comes to her defense um, and it's like the heart of her type of thing. So, um, you know, a bit like her armor. So that's why I picked that. So that was my pick for Vashta and Jenny. The next um, a Doctor Who couple is Clara and Mr. Pink. I wish they could have worked things out and I wish he didn't turn into a Cyberman. Sorry, spoilers. Because um, I thought they were a great couple. He was just so... He was romantic and caring and salt of the earth type of thing. So for Clara, I picked this red metallic. This is Red Hot Chili Pepper. Clara almost always had something red on during her time on in the TARDIS. And I always associate red with her, so that's why I picked a red for her. Um, and for Mr. Pink, I picked this very pale pinky colour, which is actually called a true romantic, which is what I think he was. Um, they're an interesting combination. So those are my picks for Clara and Mr. Pink. And they're on the other swatch wheel. <laughs> So that is red, red Hot Chili Pepper and that is True Romantic, which is not that much different from the colour of the swatch wheel. My last um, Doctor Who couple is Rose and Ten, who are of course one of my favourite couples from Doctor Who. I think they're most people's favourite couples from Doctor Who. Um, yeah, they were just... Even though it's not the real ten that she finally got together with, at least she got together with him in the end. And yeah, which I think was a great way to end that particular situation. So for Rose, I picked a rose. And it's even more appropriate because this is Rose Run from <laughs> Sally Hansen. I thought it was very appropriate for Rose. For ten... I wasn't really sure what to pick at first, and in the end I decided to go with this blue holographic from Essence called Hollow Rocks, because it's kind of TARDIS blue, and it's a rainbow holographic beautifulness, and that is what 10 is, is a beautiful rainbow um, in the TARDIS. So those were my picks for Rose and 10. Um, that there is Rose Run. And Hollow Rocks. Um, side note, Rose Run is a one coat polish. It's lovely. And now we are on to a Star Trek couples because I'm a big Star Trek fan. So um, my first one is a couple that never actually got together, but I wish they did. They almost did. They kind of did. But then they had to go back to not being a couple. And that is Janeway and Chakotay. I wanted them to be together so much and then Chakotay ends up with seven of nine and I didn't get that I just it didn't it didn't work for me I'm sorry <laughs> it was not not a pairing I enjoyed um for Janeway I picked at ease from Rimmel which is kind of a coffee color again a very stable go-to kind of colour, which is what Jane Mai was. She was like rock solid. She was, and she drank a lot of coffee. So that's why I picked that one. For Chakotay, I actually picked this black and silver and hollow topper from Sally Hansen called Spark and Pepper. Because, I don't know, he just 
there was so much going on with him. He was very complex and he had a lot of history, but he was just like this bright spark. And I absolutely love the character of Chakotay. Um, so that is my pairing for Chakotay and Janeway. So we have At Ease and Spark and Pepper. My next uh, Star Trek couple is Jadzia and Worf. I originally was very happy with the idea of Jadzia getting together with Bashir, um, which didn't happen, unfortunately. I was not so happy about Bashir ending up with the next incarnation of the Dax. Um, it just did not sit very well with me, personally. But when um, Jadzia got together with Worf, it was like, they were just the perfect couple. Absolutely wonderful couple. So, for Jadzia, who was one of my favourite characters from Star Trek, in case you were wondering, um, if I could have got away with it, my daughter would have been called Jadzia, but nobody would let me do it. I picked a red hollow. This is Radio Gaga from Glam Polish. This a lot pulls from the wedding dress that she wore when she married Worf, which was a beautiful red number. Um, yeah, and she's also very complex. There's lots of layers because of the Dax symbiote, which is why I thought a hollow was quite appropriate. For Worf, I picked this textured brown polish, partly because he has ridges on his forehead, and partly because like brown is like his very um, solid down to earth type. Um, you know what you're going to get with Worf, quite frankly. Um, and this is, it's all San Andreas's fault from OPI. So and those are my picks for Jadzia and Worf. So this one is Radio Gaga and this is It's All San Andreas's Fault. My next Star Trek couple is Neelix and Kez, the original Kez, not the Kez who comes back and is a horrible, horrible person, the young Kez. <laughs> um, she was, I, I really loved her, that character and I was so sad when she left. But. I thought her and Neelix were a great couple, quite frankly. Um, for Kez, I picked somebody to love from Glam Polish, which is what she was looking for, really, was somebody to love. Um, I think it didn't quite work out for her. But anyway, um, this is a kind of very complex but colourful polish, which is what I think of when I think of Kez. It's very bright and colourful and interesting. And for Neelix, I picked New Money from L'Oreal, which is kind of this bright, fresh, greeny, limey green. Um, the, partly he liked to make money if he could, which is part of the reason. But also, for some reason, this kind of freshness is what I think of when I think of him. Um, so this is my pick for Neelix and Kez. This one here is Somebody to Love, and this is New Money. Second to last couple is Picard and Crusher, as in Beverly Crusher, not, not the kid. Um, they never actually got together, but they would have made a great couple, and they did flirt around the idea of getting to, together several times, but they never actually did, which is a little frustrating to me. But anyway, uh, for Crusher, I picked this sort of um, frosty cream. It's actually called Coconut Crush. Crusher. Mm. Um, it's just a very clean um, colour. And <laughs> that's what I think of when I think of Beverly. She was just, I mean, partly because she was in the medical field. It's just that thing about her that she was soft place to fall kind of thing. For Picard, I picked Mocha Frosting from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. This is a kind of earl grey colour with holographic in it, which I think, you know, the fact that he liked earl grey is part of the, the charm of it. Um, but it's also a very, it's a neutral, but with something extra, which is what I think of him is like, you know, very solid, down to earth, but 
for something a little bit extra, a little extra spark. So those are my picks for Crusher and Picard. So, this is Coconut Crush, and this is Mocha Frosting. Actually, it's, that was the third to last. <laughs> the second to last couple is Deanna and Riker. Uh, Deanna, Troy, and Riker. Um, Riker was one of my favourite characters. A massive crush, crush on William Frakes back in the day. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, for Deanna, I picked this. Uh, I could have picked a tealy green colour because she wore teal a lot. Um, but I actually picked Silver Sparkle from L'Oreal, which is a nude holographic glitter. Nude because people from her colour um, planet, Bayazoid, um, get married in the nude. Really help myself, um, but she's also kind of like she's again one of those shining lights that um, makes people feel better. I mean, she was a counselor, so you know. And for Riker, I picked black satin, which is just a straight up ordinary black, but it is my go to black. It is a solid and dependable, and that is pretty much Riker to a T solid, dependable. So that is my pairing for Riker and Deanna. So we have Silver Sparkle and Black Satin, which is a one coat black, probably because it's kind of old and a bit thick. My last couple is um, it's kind of a goofy one, and it's, it was also one of my favourite favorite cringe pairings let's put it that way and that is Tasha Ya and Data um, I is one of the more amusing episodes when they um, get jiggy with each other um, and she finds out that he is a fully functional uh, Android robot thing um, yeah <laughs> I didn't actually like the character of Tasha Yar very much, and I wasn't entirely upset when she was killed. However, I thought they were an interesting couple. Um, it was it was an interesting byplay, an interesting couple of episodes. So for Tasha Yar, I picked this yellow, and I picked this a lot because of the name, and that is another one bites the dust. It's um, a bright yellow with a red kind of shift to it and holographic in it. It's a beautiful polish, um, but yeah, I picked it a lot for the name. And I picked this one a lot for the name as well. This is Frosty the Cyborg from... Uh, the Frosty the Snowborg from um, Pretty Serious, which, come on now, Data got turned into a Borg at one point. Um, yeah. Anyway, that was my pairing for Data and Tasha Yar. And they are all of my couples. I could have done more. I could have done less, but um, I'm glad you stuck with me. So, just for... Uh, that is another one bites the dust. And that is Frosty the Snowborg. So that is it for this video. Everybody else who was doing it will be listed down below. Make sure you go and check them out. And if you're coming from one of their channels, hello. Well, welcome to the end of the video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish up videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.